287 St. Lucians celebrated their achievements at a graduation ceremony held at the National Cultural Center, marking the completion of a three-month, no-cost training program. The graduates successfully finished courses in bartending, community tourism, customer service, data operation, food and drink restaurant service, computer graphics, general office administration, and housekeeping. This initiative, part of the World Bank-funded Human Capital Resilience Project, aims to empower participants to become entrepreneurs and significantly contribute to the national employment landscape. Project manager Dr. Rufina Frederick expressed gratitude for the government of St. Lucia's support, emphasizing the importance of technical vocational education and training, TVET, in human resource development. TVET is at our centerpiece. TVET is our focus. In fact, your program has cost us, this program has cost us more than $1.2 million. Yes, um, you receive internships, you receive subsistence, and you receive free tuition. We are working with Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Northern and Southern Campus, Von Lewis Research Institute, Viewfort Post-Secondary School, National Skills Development Center, NELU, Care, and Monroe University. Hence, we are here today. Monroe University has delivered. Emphasizing the commitment of the government of St. Lucia to ensuring citizens are equipped with the skills necessary for success, Minister for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, encouraged participants to continue their educational pursuits. The majority of persons who had the opportunity to be part of the internship component of the program will be retained as full-time employees at the various establishments. And I think we need to applaud that effort. Others can feel confident that they are now armed with a globally recognized qualification that can open doors in the sector of their choice. Today, upon graduating, you are armed with a certification or qualifications that can cause you to enter higher level programs at Monroe University and elsewhere. And I'm hoping that in the not too distant future, when the selections are made for the first generation scholarship program, many of you seated here today will feature in pursuit of bachelor's degrees to help you live your dreams and help you become the professionals that you want to be. Everybody seated here today has the potential to achieve greatness. For you, this certificate that you'll be receiving here today is just the beginning of magical things that will happen in your development. The sky is the limit. Also encouraging graduates to remain motivated in their pursuit of personal development, President of Monroe University, Mark Jerome, expressed the institution's support of continuous learning. You started, you are now a part of the Monroe University family, you are part of my family, all of us are behind you the rest of your lives, and I want you to know you do have an incredible um, government support in the minister. Reflecting on the training received, participant Paulinus Alexander expressed satisfaction with his experience. The skills we learned, the friendship we forged, the lessons we learned, let us carry the spirit of collaboration, creativity, and passion to define our time together. Initiatives like the Human Capital Resilience Project form part of the government of St. Lucia's efforts to enhance human capital development by improving the labor market relevance of skills in selected sectors, create economic relevance, and empower participants. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation, and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.